responsibility would be actually harmful <coughs> to um, us. My opponents say that, you know, that there's some inequality and there's, you know, this disparity and that, um, you know, the current system is unfair, that these big ISPs are blocking, you know, or they have the potential to block things from us, that we're not going to be able to have that free-flowing internet. And, um, and really, they're creating a false dilemma. I and mean, they're saying that, there's, that these ISPs have potential to block, block different pages and different sites, but really, that hasn't happened. And they're you know, putting this fear into people that, oh, these companies have the power to do that. But really, that's not the case. And ISPs haven't really indicated that that's the direction that they're going in. If anything, putting that neutrality, it's going to be taking away these investments um, from because they have the tiered um, that tiered access, and they're saying that you know some are faster and some are slower. But by taking away these investments that people are paying to get that fast you know access to their customers, um, <clears throat> by taking that away, these ISPs are losing all these investments, and as a result. You know, when they don't have that money, instead they're going to compensate by raising prices for you know the customers. So really, if they're saying that you know small businesses are, you know, it's not fair for them, it's going to change it for everyone who's trying to access the internet. Um, I have um, an article from the Washington Post that says that affordability concerns will be magnified by forcing more of the network investment costs onto consumers. And consumers and entrepreneurs will be affected if network upgrades and improvements are delayed or forgotten, as will their ability to, cre to create or use the next great application or service. So by increasing these costs, um, not only are they going to you know, make it hard for us to have this internet access, they're probably gonna, we're going to have to downgrade you know, the access that we can get. And even for people now who are barely holding on to any internet access, or you know trying to save up to afford internet, then they're going to be completely cut out. And this is a huge portion of our population. And the internet is increasingly becoming you know unnecessary in today's society. Um, According to the Huffington Post, it says, as the internet has become an essential platform for job hunting and furthering education, those without access are finding the basic tools for escaping poverty increasingly out of reach. The cost of being offline is greater now than it was 10 years ago. And uh, so many important transactions take place online. If you don't have access to high-speed internet, you're missing out on a lot. Um, <clears throat> in addition to you know, having those higher costs, you know, uh, having this will hinder innovation by cutting out or enforcing net neutrality. Um, according to CBS News, it says broadband providers and many conservative and free market groups on the other hand say some of the proposed regulations would choke off human innovations. Um, the Washington Post also says that by locking in today's uh, internet, the FCC may inhibit the ability of networks to freely innovate and experience, to seek out the differentiation that breeds opportunity and consumer choice. The risk of government censure will unmistakably chill new developments, including those developments that would be pro-consumer and pro-competition. <coughs> um, <coughs> in addition, my opponent says that you know the internet was established on a different basis, that they didn't want this, and that you know certain people are saying this is not how the internet was supposed to become. And really, I think when people did make the or you know invent the internet, that this. It's developed into a whole other you new know, creation that I'm sure many people couldn't even imagine it could become now. And so, I mean, if it might not have been established on those ideas, on those morals, but the, inter or the in internet is completely changing and innovating, and it calls for new ideas and new, you know, new um, like morals to run. And um, you know, we can't really say that because. You know, it wasn't intended originally to be that way, that it would still apply now to the way the internet is. Um, also, I'd like to point out that um, you know, net neutrality would, obviously, it would put um, more control into, you know, the government's hands, and that um, by doing this, um, <coughs> it violates some of the existing laws and different precedents. Uh, there was a, a court case um, recently with uh, Comcast versus the FCC and um, 
you know, and the courts ruled that the FCC did not have, you know, that um, that power to hold that against the ISPs. In doing this, you're going to have to expand government control, and also, um, you know, it's it's not a probable way to. I mean, it's not a realistic idea to put that government control over the internet because it is so broad and because it spans so wide, and it would really, <clears throat> it would really backfire. And especially the FCC, um, I have listed um, the plan that they had. That the plan that they had was so um, unrealistic and would, you know, would, uh, sorry, um, just it would be an extreme thing to put onto, you know, the internet and they would really enforce some extreme things and um, and I don't see why they would need it because you know the internet has been you know flourishing from how it started and it's become a great thing and um, I have from redstate.com that the internet is a prime example of what can be achieved when companies are free to compete without the intervention of heavy hand of government America's broadband service providers have invested billions of dollars in improving their networks and consumers are winning the internet is faster than it's ever been and we have access to high definition video online and new premium online services are made available daily. The great success of the internet has been made possible because the government has stayed out. There is no evidence of a market failure to justify it. The burdensome government regulations some are proposing. Unfortunately, it appears that an F a few FCC commissioners lack an understanding of how regulations affect investment. So, I would just like to leave that with you that you know, having net neutrality, it, it won't solve any inequalities, but create more and put more burdens on the, the customers. And the, you know, the, what the FCC is proposing to do is not achievable. And you know, it'll eventually it'll put the customers and people using the internet, it'll leave them worse off. And I don't think that we should try and enforce that neutrality.